He's out for the rest of the season with a kneecap with kneecap surgery, so big holes to fill. This is Nate Pete, and look at Pete go all the way past midfield. And extra players at the point of attack, and Pete just sees the crease, puts his foot in the ground, and gets north. No doubt, Joe. This is an offense. Schrader, one cut and straight ahead. He puts that foot in the ground and a burst up field for another Tigers first down 15 yard run. The crease in this zone play. He puts his foot in the ground and he gets north. And that's what he's doing. He's not. Third and three. Cook. And he will get the first down. North Fleet goes up and over. And that's going to freeze two linebackers to allow the tight end. North Fleet to go underneath. Really impressed with this true freshman. And that is how Mizzou caps their 12-play drive. Second and three. Mertz gets the protection and gets his man, Ricky Pearsall. And here goes Ricky. Cuts back against the grain. Big jump play down near the 10-yard line as Rakestraw finally chased him down. I don't think he would have broken the play up anyway because it was an accurate throw. You see him go down right there. And then it's everything after the catch for Pearsall. He's such a good route runner, working the middle of the field, able to create separation, and a huge explosive play early. Mertz to the end zone. Touchdown, Trey Wilson. in the slot right here he's going to work a double move in the middle he's going to look like he's going slant chuck hicks the linebacker is going to bite on it and that opens up the window in behind school history they've had massive struggles schrader catches a seam cody schrader is gone touchdown mizzou and the sensational season for schrader continues Gatto and Foster working a little game here inside and outside and creating a crease, but they've got bodies in the back end with their eyes in the wrong place and they're not feeling where they need to. And that leads to the explosive play. And we talked about a lot of the struggles this defense have, has had, Joe, in recent weeks. And part of that is playing a lot of freshmen and part of that is injuries as well. But Missing tackles, not containing the quarterback, corners getting beat one on one, and just not being aligned properly or having your play clock counting down as Cook tries to adjust protection. They run option to the short side of the field, but it doesn't matter with Schrader. And he keeps his footing down to the 25. A star is born at Mizzou this year, and his name is Cody Schrader. Jay Searcy, the true freshman, as soon as he commits, this ball's getting pitched outside. It's a nice quick call, speed option into the boundary. Put it in your best player this year on offense's hands and let him go to work. 34 yards. He has 117 in the first half. 39-yard attempt. As he puts it through, and remember what he did against K State, second 13, final minute of this first half. Johnson, well blocked for Montrell Johnson, who rounds the corner, and now maybe Florida thinks about defining this last 32 seconds differently. Going to run it here after the penalty, and Johnson will take it ahead, and makes the most of it as he. Spins his way to the 45 yard line. That was third and 22, of course, after the intentional grounding. First and five after the penalty. ETN, he gets loose. Here goes Trevor. Finally dragged down inside the 40. A battle up front, right in the middle here. He's fighting and clawing. He's got D Lyman trying to spin out, but he's able to keep the block long enough to allow ETN in that burst to get into the second level. This is what ETN brings this running game, Joe. He's got a second gear and explosive runs, and that's a big reason why he's averaging six yards. And Hudson are now the tackles. ETN. Another strong run by Trevor Etienne for eight and a half yards. Hicks with the tackle and a flag is down at the 29. They fake on the motion to Wilson. Mertz cross the grain to Etienne who gets loose. Trevor Etienne in for the score. What a play, well designed, and then Mertz finding ETN in 
it's a 37-yard touchdown for the Gators. Eyes downfield. Hayden's over here blocking. He's fighting for his life. He's going to escape to this side. It's a linebacker that ends up committing to go tackle him, and he vacates an area over the middle of the field. You see right here when he works to his right, there goes the linebacker. But he never took his eyes off of ETN. It was originally just a check down throw. Great three catches for 21 yards and not a lot downfield. You got to start taking your shots with him. Second and two, Schrader as he moves the pile for a first. Down. Kellen, uh, his brother. Colin plays for the Chargers. Cook. There you go. Nice pitch and catch to Burden who breaks free. Luther Burden, a third, a thousand yard receiver this year, did it in this game. Cook going to take it himself, and Cook, that second surge, yes! Touchdown, Mizzou! Into two linebackers. Watch this. Watch Schrader go up ahead. There's Wingo and there's Mitchell. He kind of splits right in between them. Gave a little bit of space for Cook to push forward, but... Jaden Daniels is the most outstanding college football player this year. Here is Hanson. And Hanson getting free, and look at the redshirt freshman tight end. And then last week, it was just unbelievable what he did with that LSU offense. Second and five, end around. Ricky Pearsall. Here goes Ricky! And the Gators! What a response! Ricky Pearsall, touchdown! A 39 yard run from Ricky Pearsall. D block coming around this side here on Carnell, but it's the over pursuit by the DBs of Missouri on the outside. They all get outside way too much. They lose the leverage inside. That opens the crease for Ricky Pearsall. Who Katie, this guy has just had a massive season this year. Cook. Wide open and burden again. And fighting for extra yardage as Luther Burden a third. A deep crossing pattern, and watch how he peeks to see where the safety is, right? Here, really quick, find out when that hit's coming. He almost looked twice. The ball was in the air. And he does just that. Third and five, Mertz steps up. And he's going to try to run for the first down. Wow! Puts the shoulders down twice, split defenders, and it is a first down, Gators. I don't know how he just broke tackle simultaneously from Chuck Hicks and Enos Rakestraw, but that was unbelievable. You want to play with desire? That is Chuck Hicks who took the hit from a quarterback still down. We've been talking about Cody Schrader giving out the punishment. Great, Mertz. I mean, Graham Mertz goes Oklahoma drill here as an SEC quarterback with the game on the line the second half. Well, I give him credit because he knew he wasn't at the sticks. Sliding wasn't going to get it done, but I mean, I did not have that on my bingo card. Montrell Johnson as he twists his way for three yards. Yeah, they'd love to be able to do this. They'd love to be able to, because, oh, you see Graham oh. Mertz, he's pointing to himself. I think he must have got maybe banged up a little bit on that last run. And then comes Max Brown, the backup quarterback. Oh, they're telling Merch just to go down and take a look at him. Wow. And I mean, you go back and look at that run. I mean, the fact that he broke those tackles was incredible. And you just wonder if the adrenaline just kept pumping through. I mean, oh. he gets hit simultaneously by two defenders. And Mosquito off the windshield oh. on it. And just after handing that football off, so much pain, grabbing that left shoulder area. Ball's loose! Ball is loose! Mizzou's got it! Christian Williams with the fumble recovery! Bad exchange between the backup quarterback and the running back, and Christian Williams gets it! Ground. This is a disaster scenario for the Gators. It hits his right elbow. He's got to look that football into the belly of the running back. And the Oregon transfer, Christian Williams, Johnny on the spot, coming up with a massive, massive play. The biggest of the game so far for Missouri. Play action. Cook. 
It's going to go down to Weiss and Theo Weiss. He is a speedster who gets free down the sideline. He goes. M-I-Z. Get the ball back, and in two plays, the this is Weiss what happens. is going to be running here. Jordan Castell kind of gets put in no man's land here. He's covering him in the flat. He's got to stay with him because the pursuit's coming back this way to get Brady Cook, but he falls off of it. That leaves Weiss wide open. It's a bad tackling effort by the Gators in the back end. And what a turnaround for MIZ. His balance along the sideline. By Brown putting it right on his face mask. Now Brown to pass again downfield. Great effort. Jackson goes up and brings it down. Bubbling up in Max Brown. Two plays back to back. There's a double move by Jackson who just came up with a big slant catch on four. That's a hitch and go. Locating the football using that. ETN's going to walk right in with their backup quarterback with a reshuffled offensive line with backup tackles. Florida is fighting to the end. Going to keep it here on the zone. Reed Carnell chases him this way. ETN basically just runs the ball right by his face. Watch the safety over top. Game that's been played that way all night long. Here's Cook on third and seven. Pressure up the middle. Tries to extend the play. Trying to turn the corner and Princely Uman Miel and tracks him. Brown's going to pull it. Brown's going to turn the corner and Max Brown is striding inside the 20. How about this young man? Darius Robinson crashes down, taking the running back, but there's nobody replacing him. Hicks at linebacker. Everybody goes inside here. There's no one on the outside for Brown. It's an added element this offense now has for number 17. 35-yarder to take the lead for the upset-seeking Florida Gators against number nine, Mizzou. 35-yard attempt. And put it through for the Gators. Cook with time, and he gets it complete to the 40-yard line to Miller. It'll be a top-10 tumble if he doesn't get it. Fourth down. Gotta have it, and he gets it! Luther Burden a third, and not only that, but they're in range to win it. Talked about this being the area that he goes to work in the middle of the field. He didn't have to work very hard, though. He just basically kind of jogged at three-quarter speed. He's over on your right-hand side. He just finds some grass and kind of levels down. Brady Cook finds and puts it right on his face mask. No timeouts for Mizzou. And they're officially right now in Mevis's field goal range. Remember, he hit a 61-yarder to beat K-State. Now they're at the 40. That would be a 58-yarder. Cook trying to shorten that distance, and the clock will stop with the completion to Miller. They can clock it here. Put themselves in position to win it. And they do with the ball on the 29-yard line, well in range of the sensational Harrison Mevis. The thicker kicker will get the drama ending he wants. 30-yard attempt by Mevis. And Mevis drills it. And did he just chop his way off the field? 33 to 31. Missouri retakes the lead. Head down, great rotation, well struck and through. Mevis, what a sensational career he's had. And he chomps his way right in Florida's face for Mizzou. And Max Brown needs a whole lot of magic here. And they don't get that initial one completed, and zeros are across the board. And Brady Cook and Schrader and that offense, they got the thicker kicker in position, and the fireworks are going off on senior night. 
Mizzou has win number nine. Give something fun.